I have to check me a chess spot with random moves that this program generates, and well, it was kind of insane. Honestly, it doesn't get much better than that. Not only do I get a start with white against Martin, I also get a pawn move. He plays the Nimsu Witch defense. So we got a bishop move, so we can play the bishop's opening, which is characterized by e4 and then c4. Now he's attacking our pawn, so hopefully we get a pawn move or a bishop move or a knight move or really any good move. Okay, we got a pawn move. This is roughly resembling an opening. Pretty good. We're playing sort of a London type setup, except we're start we started with e4 instead of d4. Now, you may be wondering what the heck this is. That's the program I wrote that randomly chooses a chess spot, the color I start with, and a piece for me to move. Nice. We got a queen move, so we are just going to move our queen out here. We don't we don't want to commit our queen super far out. The farther we commit our queen, the bigger target it becomes. Oh hey! We got a king move. We're gonna go king f1. We got another queen move. So what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do here? We can go uh, queen e1. So maybe we have all our pawns on uh, light squares, so I guess we can fight on the dark squares. We have some good dark square control. Martin undevelops his knight, which I mean, that's about as much as I would expect from Martin. We got another king move, so we're gonna have to move our king out to e2. Martin is just marching down the board with a5 and then a4. Then hopefully we can play a3, and that's exactly what we're gonna do. And then <laughs> Martin redevelops his knight back into the game. We got another queen move. We are just going to fight along the dark squares out here. Hopefully it won't become a target. We get another queen move. Now we can't do anything with it. So I think we're just going to move back. Martin castles. Great move. We get a knight move. Okay, which knight do we want to develop? I think the plan here is to move this knight to f3 and then go king f1, king g1, and maybe king h1 if we get enough king moves. I think that's the strategy here. So we just need this random move generator to generate a pawn move. Because if it generates a pawn move, I'm in the clear. But if it's anything but a pawn move, I'm absolutely screwed. No! We're not gonna talk about that. It's a rook move. We're gonna defend here. Please don't take here. That's a really bad move. I don't like that. If you track the movement of the knight, first it comes out to f6, then back to g8, back to f6 again, takes the pawn on e4, and goes back to d6. Wow. I mean, I guess the knight is getting its exercise, so we get a bishop move. Nothing we can do with that, though, but we can develop this bishop, which is good. Here we go. Let's, uh, maybe let's trade. Will Martin accept the trade? Martin doesn't accept the trade, but hopefully we'll get another bishop move. Unfortunately, we did not get a bishop move, but we did get a queen move. So, queen d2? Okay, we get a bishop move, so we can capture this bishop. Let's go. Martin doesn't recapture with the rook and instead chooses to push his king pawns forward. And we get another, we get a pawn move. Will Martin see on Passant? I really want to go b4 here. Here, so I can attack this and defend this bishop over here. But I don't know if you'll see on because if he sees on passant, I'm I'm in a real pickle. We're gonna go b4. Hopefully he doesn't see on passant. <laughs> he chooses not to do on passant. So I mean, if we get a bishop or a pawn move, we're in a clear. We get a rook move, of course. Of all the moves we could get, of course we get a rook move. Uh, Martin chooses to ignore the attack on his pieces and instead decides to move his king forward. And we're also gonna move our king and we're gonna manually castle. Okay, we got a bishop move, so we're just gonna take here. The more pieces come off the board, the better it is for me. That's the way I look at it. Because I mean, there's less pieces to checkmate me. You didn't have to cut me we do get a pawn. Okay, we're legitimately winning against Martin here. How is this possible? We're playing completely random moves and we're beating Martin. This is just insane. Oh my gosh. The last couple games didn't go like this. Okay, so we got knight. So we can go on with that plan and target his queen. So we're going king e1. Lundering checkmate. This is by far my best game. Okay, we get a queen move. We don't want to offer trade quite yet. We can sneak into the position here. This is a bit of a... I mean, this leaves the pawn undefended, but... Here, here, check. Here, take the pawn. And then we can just infiltrate like crazy here. And Martin can't really do anything. Okay, that's what we're going to do. I think that looks pretty good. Now, I calculated that, all that, if we actually could get multiple queen moves in a row. Unfortunately, we can't. But we did get a rook move. So, we're going to move our rook up one. Protect this pawn. Just hold down the fort. Martin takes our pawn. That is to be expected since we are up material though. We got another king move, so we're going to go king g1. Escape our king into safety. We do get a pawn move. So what pawn? Our king is all the way completely safe. So we're just going to make sure that we can't be back right uh, mated. So we're just going to push that pawn. Martin 
also chooses to push a pawn. We get a rook move. I think I'm just going to go a2 because I don't want to move my rook from where it is. a2 it is. Martin also chooses to do a rook move. We get a pawn move. Okay. What are we going to do with the pawn? We're going to push it to h4. Okay. We need to move the bishop. We need a bishop move. Let me stop you for a second. Do you notice anything strange about the position here? Well, the bishop is trapped and I'm an idiot. Okay, come on. Please give me a bishop move. Bishop. Bishop, bishop, right. shoot. Maybe we can attack. Ah, oh, this, this is, this is fun. Let's develop and attack the pawn, I guess. Hopefully he doesn't take. Martin chooses to not take, knowing that I can't recapture. And instead of moves his rook. Now we have a queen move and we have a pretty good queen move too. Uh, no, wait, wait, we have to think about this. If we, if we move our queen to g7 and then he blocks with the rook and we don't get another queen move, he can just take. So instead of that, we're going to capture the pawn. Okay, that, that, that worked out. We get another queen move. Okay, we're going to, wouldn't it be crazy if we promoted a pawn? <laughs> That'd be, that'd be insane if we actually were able to promote a pawn. We're going to capture that pawn as well. We get a rook move. Not much we can do. Let's just... We can't, we can't lose this pawn because that pawn is way too close to promotion. We can just... <laughs> this looks so dumb. Oh my gosh. No, that, that's going to bait Martin into taking. Martin would be dumb enough to take, so we're not going to do that. Instead, we're I think we're going to go E1. going to stay back, not overextend ourselves here. We get a pawn move. Now, we can't push this pawn, unfortunately, but we can strengthen our pawn structure over here. <laughs> Have you noticed how this bishop's been hanging this entire time and Martin just refuses, flat out refuses to take it? We're on move 31 and Martin still has not taken this bishop. But we get a queen move, which is good. We're going to give a check. Okay, I, I expected Martin to block. This is good because now he can't recapture and he's actually pinned. This rook is actually immobile. We get a knight move. We're going to capture this pawn. Attack the queen. Martin sees that his queen's attacked, which is honestly spectacular for him. But we get another queen move. So we are just going to... I want to maintain the pin, but I don't want to... I don't want to give another check. And I don't want to be attacked. I think we have to drop back. Okay, he finally takes our bishop. Please let us get a pawn move. Okay, we got a pawn move. Okay, nice. Can recapture. We're still up a ton of material, which is nice. We can lose all of it in an instant if we're not careful. Or if we get the wrong pieces to move. So I just took the bishop piece out of the code so it can't choose it anymore because, well, we don't have any more bishops. We got a knight move. We are going to... We're going to come here. This move also looks good blockading the pawn. Honestly, let's do that. Let's blockade the pawn. Why not? Pawn can't move. And it's defending. That's even better. I'm not sure what Martin's doing here. We got another pawn move, so we're just going to mark this pawn forward. Martin chooses to move his king to the promotion square, and we are going... Oh, I was about to give a check there, and I almost lost. We do have a queen move, and we can take the free bishop. Oh my gosh. We we might be able to checkmate Martin. That would be insane. Martin's restricted to his back rank. If we got another... If we got, if we added like a rook right here, we could easily checkmate. So we're really close. Oh, we get another pawn move. Oh, oh my. Okay, I don't want to push this because he's going to take... Hate, and I don't want that to happen. So instead of that, we're going, I don't want to push this pawn, but I think we might have to do that. I mean, this is probably losing, but whatever. I mean, it's Martin. He's not going to find the best move. The The one thing I was worried about was uh, queen b6 check, but he blocks his own check. So it's completely fine. We get a rook move. Okay. Let, uh, let's double our rook and our queen. Not sure what Martin's doing here, but we, we, we could checkmate him. We're getting really close. I think I'm going to target his rook. Captures the pawn. Okay. Please give us a knight move. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Give us a night move. A night move, please. A night move. Yes, we got a night move. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We're in the game. We just Martin screwed. He can't do anything. He's gonna recapture. He doesn't even recap. If he recaptured, he, my uh, rook would be hanging. And my oh my gosh, oh my gosh. If Martin captures with the queen, not only is my rook hanging, my uh, knight is hanging. And if I move my rook, then my pawn would be hanging. And then if I move my rook back, the other rook would be. It was. It, it's just. It's too much. It's too much. Too much. Too much stuff. Hanging. If takes, 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 queen e2, queen h4, g3, knight g3, check, c6, queen b7, knight h1, king there. I don't know what's going on. I'm just going to castle. I, I don't want to think too much. Uh we get a rook move. No. If this rook wasn't here, that'd be checkmate. Oh my gosh. It's check. He can only block with this. That's the only move. Please give us a rook. Okay, rook or queen move and we checkmate Martin. A rook or queen move and we get a king move. Okay, let's just move forward. We're up material, but that can change very, very quickly with the capture of this knight on c4. This is such a dumb position, but whatever. We have a knight move. We can give a check. We're going to give a check. We got a rook move. Okay, so we are just going to... I'm going to move back over here. Okay, 
Martin takes our free knight after who knows how long. We get a pawn move. Might give a check because if he checks, I capture. Um, this pawn is hanging, so we're gonna move it forward one square. Actually, could have moved it forward two squares because this um this knight was protecting that square, but he moved his pawn forward. So instead, we're gonna go and we're gonna re-randomize and see what we get. We get a knight move. We got a knight move, which isn't bad. We can capture this pawn. Martin is, is Martin is targeting our pawn. So we get another knight move. We can come here and oh, I misclicked. I did not mean to do that. I accidentally dropped the piece and I didn't mean to do that. But yeah, that just completely hangs a full knight. <laughs> That's unfortunate. We got a queen move. Okay. What queen move can we do? We don't want to instigate a trade because unless we're the ones who capture first. So I think we're just going to come here. This is a solid move. It protects everything. We got another king move. So we're just going to move our king forward. Martin decides to hit to move his king as well. We get a queen move. I don't want to gamble on us getting a queen move again. But I think I have to for content. I, I have to do it for the content. I have to do it for the memes. I have to go. I come here. And then once he moves, bet on the fact I'm going to get another queen. This is going to be insane. We're going to put everything on the line. I'm winning right now, but it can all be lost if I don't get another queen move. So we're going to give a check. I I'm so nervous right now. It's a pawn. Shoot. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm absolutely screwed over. There's nothing I can do. I can protect, but there's nothing I can do with that. Unless I get another pawn move. We get a knight move. Shoot. 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 We can target his queen. Okay. So now we have two things that are hanging. A pawn and knight. And we get a rook move. But we can... <gasps> Can set up a discovered attack oh this is defended okay so Mar moves out of the way i'm gonna add the code really quick so that there's no queen moves anymore because we have no queen <laughs> okay so we got a knight move i don't like check i'm just gonna come here this is a solid move put some in check and also it's defended i wouldn't put a pass martin to sack though we have a pawn move i feel like this pawn is screwed but we're just gonna push it anyway it's so close to queening so close that'd be insane if we queened so i'm gonna move the king because that's the only move we can't do what do we get we get a knight move okie dokie what do we do i don't know what we do here i guess we come here there's nothing we can do hopefully he won't doesn't take the pawn martin refuses to take the pawn thank goodness we got a king move no no this is so bad martin just repeating moves let's defend martin moves his queen we get another king move no what is this come on please a pawn move a pawn move i have a pawn move there's it's a one in four chance to get a pawn move and i have not gotten a pawn move what is this garbage <laughs> Got another king move. I guess I'm gonna come here. I mean, there's nothing I can really do. That might have not been a great move. I just realized that. Oh, shoot. <laughs> uh, we got a knight. We got another knight move. <gasps> Holy cow. We can capture his queen. Oh my gosh. We, we're winning. We just have to promote this pawn and we're winning. <gasps> and we get a pawn move. I'm gonna edit the code really fast so then it can choose what piece to promote to. Okay, this is the moment moment of truth. I've edited the code, so now it, it's either gonna choose a queen, a knight, a bishop, or a rook. And let's see what it chooses. It chooses a knight. Let's go. I mean, it's not as bad as it. <laughs> it literally promotes with check. We're probably going to lose this knight. Yeah, we, we lost this knight, basically, unless we get another knight move. So we get, we get a rook move, which could be bad. Also could be good because we're going to put him in check, thus defending. But if he comes here, we're screwed. He doesn't come there. So we we can promote. We just get need to get an, a lot more pawn moves. So I just end up moving my pieces around. I do end up connecting the knights, as you can see here push my pawn forward and let's see what happens and we get a pawn move so i'm gonna move the pawn again the moment of truth do we get a promotion checkmate with random moves against martin let's Promoting to a rook with checkmate. Let's go. Honestly, I didn't expect this to happen where you would I'd actually checkmate Martin with basically random move. My next video is gonna be I beat chess without moving. And it's gonna it's gonna be pretty cool. It's gonna have to do with a little bit of coding, a little bit of chess. It'd be pretty cool. If you wanna watch that video, I'd recommend subscribing so you'll know exactly when I post it.